I tried! I don't know what I did, but the fish are dry, and we're gonna take them. We made some draft fish, baby! Wow! I was worrying about that. I thought I'd glitched up the game, and the fish were never going to dry. But here we are, part 21. The fish fucking dried. Right, so now let's go fight the evil water pig like we said we were going to do in this episode. So, I'm fresh, and I've just been back. I've just got back from two lectures. One was about frog reproduction. Yay! Frog reproduction! Oh, don't, don't stop being a silly. You're supposed to be able to hit the bottom of this with the grapple. Ta-da! Lunchbox. Powerful magic. What the fuck? Just get up there. Yeah. We get this uh, pot of life. We get oh. And here we have the evil water pig. I bet that green box up there has something interesting in it. We'll do that after the water pig. Do do tension, 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 tension. This is a really interesting looking lair, actually. Out of all of them, I think this might be one of the most interesting looking. I mean, the ghost one. The ghost one's really interesting to look at, but it's really narrow, so there isn't as much to do. This is just like, there's even like different phases to it and everything. So, this is a good one. Of course, the evil ice pig's pretty interesting, but I didn't show anything except for that like one bit where I stood. But it kind of goes round and round like a big track. Are you gonna talk, lady? <laughs> the evil water pig makes her grand entry. You don't sound very feminine. What? <laughs> you, you, what a funny face you got. Thank you. You've hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. My jaw's about to fall off. Well, good, then you'll stop fucking talking. <laughs> Alright, you wanna face off? We'll face off. But let me warn you. What's going on for? You mean to like a ghost? The fuck? Now my strategy for this one is to, uh, oops, accidentally grab the pig when you're flying through the air. That's a good one. No way! It's to stand on this platform here, because you like slightly raised above it. You would stop bouncing off the fucking thing, Tommy! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay then, and then try and land on it as well, because it gives you a good like leverage to throw the pig. Get in the bag! I think in this game, I think I prefer the way they've done the pigs, like as elemental. Rather than, um, because in Tommy 1 the colours, aren't they? Makes it kind of harder to identify them, like, individually as different personalities. But this one's a lot more easy because, of course, they're elemental. Here's the different stage I was talking about, the different phase. A waterfall will come forward and, like, you won't be able to go to that portion of the arena. So, you're stuck where you are, pretty much. But it won't pose much of a, of a hindrance because we just stand here all the time anyway. Got you, Piggy Winkle. Got you by the ass. Yes, that was epic. That was good. That was a bit good. Na, 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 na. I captured the old pig. What's that mean? I can get the last two note pig nose panels now. I think it does. You did it, Tommy! I did it, Zippo! Let's see. And, what's this? The evil water pig robe, a woman's robe, but it fits you too, you feminine bastard. Water magic washes everyone away. Watch how it changes. The only thing that changes is the rain stops falling. That's it.
It just stops raining. That didn't really do anything in the first place. It's like, oh yeah, the currents flow faster and it's cursed, but I don't notice the difference. I don't notice it, personally. Kaboom! Actually, while I'm here, I'm um, going to get out my pig ball. And I'm going to get me a tiny, tiny pig. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to get me a, a red chest in a minute. Let's get back up there, Tommy. Thank you. Let's get the grapple out. <laughs> and, and then try and reach that white chest up there, too, actually. Pot of life, yes. And what do we have in here? A pot of life, yes. I'm not quite sure where all the pots of life are in this game, but I don't see the point in getting them all because it'll make the game too easy. It's easy enough as it is, especially when you're as good as I am. I just never see saw the need in getting all the pots of life because you just don't need it. Right, so we're gonna go check out that um, green chest that was really high up in the waterfall. Because I'm really intrigued at things that are placed so dodgily. That thing down there is either like magic water or a lunchbox or something unnecessary like that. I'm guessing something so high up and out of the way is gonna be something more significant than, than a bloody lunchbox. We don't need a bloody lunchbox. We, we get. Well, I pressed the up fucking button, you fuck. It takes so long for him to start swinging. It's like if you accidentally start swinging in the opposite direction, it's like, whoa, poor you, because you've got a long time to wait before he starts going in the other direction again. I don't like that bit about this game. Alright, so let's see what's in here then. Pot of life! Whoa! There's also something in the blue chest up there, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, fall faster, you pink haired fuck. I wonder if we can use this to uh, get up to it. Oh yeah! Pot of life! <laughs> That's brilliant. Is that everything? Brilliant. Right, we'll go I'm going to meet you at the uh, coal mining town, so I'll see you there in a minute. Right, there's a couple of things. We can unlock a new event over here, now that the, uh, the flame pig's been beaten. Well, we can finally get under the pipes. Now, from which pipe did I drop my ring? Precious ring. My precious! That's my impression. It's awful. I don't watch Lord of the Rings. I don't know what Lord of the Rings is. Shut up. So we're going to go in here now and make our uh, dried fish sandwich. Tasty! I have no idea why you'd want a dried fish sandwich. Tuna? Tuna, maybe? Is that a tuna? Let's pretend it's tuna. Oh, well, I have some recipe ingredients. Let me show you what I can do. Just stabs it up and it turns into bread. Bring me something good. I fed the hungry traveller, didn't I? Yeah, I gave him steak. Oh, I should have gone and got... Because I've got two million now, I can go get that last pig nose panel. I didn't go. Jesus! But Jesus! Ugh. There's also something in here that I didn't pick up. It's one of those useless things. They don't really need. And it is the dong, uh, donglin bell? Coal mining bell. Here, Tomby, you found the coal mining bell. People say the bell can get you back to the place where you started. With this bell, you surely could get back to the coal mine in town. What I don't get is, you come back here, but if you use Baron or Magic Wings, the only difference is, is you're dropped off down the front of the town, which is absolutely ridiculous. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to go complete the Precious Ring one, my Precious, and we're going to get us a tiny little flame pig. Tiny, tiny pig. Tiny pig. I think this, this is, um... A hard event to complete because pot of light because it's so obscure it's really kind of hard to figure out what you're supposed to do with this thing I had to that this is one of those things I had to look up a walkthrough the first time I played it to get what the fuck he was talking about it's like precious ring and they were like oh but I didn't get you had to like oh, but Jesus no don't be flying up in the air like an idiot there we go tiny flame pig 
tiny little pig. So we have to like line ourselves up in a really decent spot if we can like Ooh, hello Apple. I think this is the spot we have to be like at directly under where you jump down. So it's about this point here, this light thing, after the second jet of air. Could you get down please? And then you have to kind of just trust your judgement and float down into the abyss and hope that you land somewhere um, not deadly. This is where, if we're going to get a game over, this is probably where it's going to be happening because you just float down from the wrong spot. you got to be careful as well that if you check in with what spot you're at that you're not like pushing up too much because if you push up on the grapple all the way you'll just um no why did you do that for you'll just go up and be back on the pipe again you have to come back down again okay oh jesus christ i just want to let go okay oh my gosh just let this let just flow down bah! game over bah! i'm waiting for it Oh, I landed in the right spot. Oh, thank fuck for that. Small blood clump, get out your hammer. And the spring will bounce you back up to the top. So now we're going to take this um, the small mud clump and wash it in the washing machine and use a fiddly ass fucking pixel of a spot where you have to stand. So of course we're going to make our way up to the washing shed. Of course now, when you're nearing the end of the game, the, uh, old, the events you discover after the pig curse have been lifted tend to be less... You don't get items for them as much as you get um, adventurer points. It's like this guy, we're going to give him his ring back and he's just going to give us 100,000 points. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, pissing on 100,000 points there, like, but... But you know, it's really, it's really exciting when you're like, what you gonna give me? What you gonna give me? I just realised I only have half the spell of wisdom and I can't remember where you get the last half. Fuck. It'll come to me. Like a dream. Oh my bejesus! Thank you! Wash, 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 wash. I want tuna. Tuna! Tuna sandwich! That's a big ass ring, a fucking cock ring. No, oh, he didn't say where he was putting the ring, he didn't specify that. Dirty bastard! Why would, well, at least we washed it. Ugh. So let's go give him this back. So he can do whatever he wants in his spare time with it. Well, we can finally get onto the pipes now from which- oh, okay then. We already read that. Hey you! You got it! My ring! Oh, Jesus. That's so dubious. It's my most precious possession. Here, take this. Go ahead, you can have it. Hundred thousand. And that is all. <laughs> Right, so actually I'm going to go Kajara Ranch to pick up a tiny pig, a tiny ice pig. Oh, the sun is shining. Oh, we can pick up those chests over there as well. Where's the pig ball? Okay. Where's the pig? Here you are, fatty. It's also interesting to note that after you've caught a tiny pig, if you hit someone with a pig ball, it just explodes. Explode! kind of handy. <laughs> but then if you explode it, you don't get the magic. So, get the grapple back. So let's see what's in these chests. we got magic juice and pot of life, please. Oh, special lunch balls to that. See how here as well, they replaced the snowball with the pig so you can still fire things into the hole. Now we pick up an apple. What we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and I'm going to show you why we're going to come up here and the continuation will be in the next episode. We could, please, thank you. Oh, now I've got to wait for him to turn around. But Jesus, Tomby! But Jesus! 
And this is the reason why I've come up here. I'm gonna grab me a coke bird first, actually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 no. No, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Come back here. Come back. Come back, I said. Oh, douchebag. Right next time on Let's Play Tombi 2. We're not gonna lose all our health fighting birds. <laughs> so, and we'll go fight the evil earth pig. So, I'll see you next then, guys. Bye-bye.